They're gonna be eaten like 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 right now. Ooh, 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 ooh. People of YouTube. Oh, what is this? What the heck is this? Eh, yeah, that that's quite nasty. That's that's pretty nasty. But yeah, anyways, welcome back to another video, you guys. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be showing you this tarantula over here. Now, this tarantula, if you guys remember this video, like, right down here, where I'm, like, pointing right now. Yep, I teased this tarantula with a piece of, well, not a piece, a string, yep. A fishing line. I teased her out of her burrow, and she just came running out like a crazy little thing. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, that wasn't a good idea because she did grab the string and the uh, worm and uh, yeah she stopped saying and and uh, <laughs> it, it kind of got stuck on her and then I had to end again and I <laughs> sorry and I had to leave her be to get rid of that string I mean like spit it out so yeah that girl you saw her, she is brown, right? I bought her as a Pamphobetia CF Antinus, which the common name translates to big black, like a big black tarantula. But then it was brown. So I thought to myself, did the seller just scam me? Because I mean, if you're an experienced keeper and you look at this tarantula, you'll probably straight away come into your mind and be like, yep, Pamphobetia CF Antinus, super obvious. But no, not to me because I'm not that experienced in tarantulas. Now we have 1.6 million subscribers at the time of this recording, right? And no, that's that does not mean that I'm an expert in tarantulas. No, okay? In fact, I'm a noob. I just can't stand people who just, you know, longer in the hobby than you and they're like, he should know a lot about tarantulas. He has 1.6 million subscribers. No, okay? Subscribers does not justify how experienced you are. No, okay? What I do is I just grab my phone, I slide the screen, and then I click record. And then I just start speaking on my phone. Yes, I speak to myself. So yeah, as I was saying, I thought that the guy scammed me. I know I didn't like go to him and I was like, like, dude, you scammed me. No, okay. I just thought in my head, maybe he did because it's supposed to be a big black and it's like a big brown. <laughs> and also the first thing I do before I purchase my tarantula is look at the species. If it's a brachypalma, if it's a pocletheria, I will not buy it because you guys know me. I don't keep brachies and pokies anymore. But if it's any other thing that I'm capable of keeping, then I will purchase it if I don't have the species. Of course. So the first thing I did when I saw Pample B to CF Antinus, I went on Google, of course, and just typed Pample B to CF Antinus and check out the pictures if it's a cool tarantula or not. And then it was this huge, badass, black looking tarantula. And that was, yeah, that was my straight away. I'm getting this thing. I mean, of course, after I read a bit about it. And then boom, I got it. But then when I got it, it was brown. Yeah, it was brown. And I was quite disappointed because in the picture it looked like, whoa, it's like freaking badass, right? But then when I'm not being racist, okay? It's just that I thought it was going to be this huge black tarantula, which is also why I love the Gramostola Pulcra, the Brazilian black because the jet black. I just love that color. But then when I got this one, it was brown and I was pretty disappointed. However, it's been more than half a year of me keeping this girl and she finally molted. Yep, she finally molted. And let's take a look at this badass check this out you guys now that is what i call a nice black looking tarantula check out the hairs at the back now that is some nice brown orange hairs but the body you guys the body is like oh man that's awesome it's like jet black sorry if the lighting is a little bit bad because my uh window is no not window what the hell door i don't even know the difference between window and door now <laughs> so yeah the thing's open sun's coming in should i close it yeah i think i should close it hmm sorry there we go. Yep, much better. Yes, okay. Now the door is closed. Look, look at this tarantula, the beauty of this girl. Oh, what is this at her abdomen? Like, I have no idea what those markings are, but man, she is gorgeous. Look at how different they can be from one mold into that. I mean, the mold is right here. I did not take out the mold because after she molted, I just didn't want to bother her and I just left her be. But yeah, that's her mold. Check it out. Brown mold, right? Super brown mold. There's the carapace over there, the head. If you guys don't know, carapace means the tarantula's head. And uh, look at the difference. Carapace over here. Carapace over here. Dang you guys now that is what I call a badass looking tarantula okay wait let me show you this mold up close but I'm not gonna put my hand in there because this girl she is pretty darn aggressive you know what I'll go get a roach oh yeah by the way this is Bella's shed she just shed not too long ago so yeah let's get a roach a nice dubia roach because that shit distract her because I don't want to put my hands in a pamphobetes enclosure because if you put your hands in a pamphobetes enclosure yep you can say goodbye to your hands 
I mean, not good by It's not like it's gonna rip out your hands, but it's gonna make a nice hole in your hand. Two holes, to be exact. All right, you know what? Let's just get a, hmm. I don't have many adults over here. I actually want to get the adult because it's bigger, but uh, ooh, there they are. Okay, I shouldn't be taking out the females because I need them for breeding, but you know, let's just get one. Let's just get this over and done with. Okay, so now let's just, oh, she, I think she's ready, man. She's guarding her mold. Like, I think she knows that I want to take her mold out, but no, girl, I'm here to give you a roach. I mean, I'm going to be taking your mold out anyways, but here's a roach, okay? Ready, you guys? Wait, let me just put on some light. Okay, I want to see the roach up close, you guys, before we feed her away. Say goodbye to this roach. <laughs> I'm sorry, roach. <laughs> You're gonna be eaten like, like, like right now. Okay, fine. Maybe not now, but, um, hmm. What? Oh, oh. Oh, man, what the hell, roach? No. Come on, roach. This is not time to play games. <sighs> I'm gonna need a scissors. No, I'm not gonna be cutting the roach. I'm just gonna be pushing the roach out. You know what, this, this, uh, this is a bad idea. I'm not gonna be putting my hands in this. Mm, okay, there we go, can slip my scissors in. Come on, Roach, I want you to be eaten like right now. Come on, oh boy, here we go. Oh, 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 Come on, girl, you can do it. This is why I don't like dubious, cause they kind of like play dead. But the moment it moves, man, oh boy. Look at her, she's doing some yoga, yoga, bros. Okay. Come on, you're supposed to like not be on your mold because I wanna take it, but no. Come on, yeah, yeah. Just gotta like sink your fangs in, girl. Just move, Roach, move. What the hell? Come on, man. Roach, you need me to encourage you to move because, whoa, come on. No, come on, man. See, dubia roaches, you guys. They're, yeah, you see? Playing dead isn't gonna help you, is it, Roach, huh? It's not gonna help you a lot. Because tarantulas are smarter than you. I mean, if the roach plays dead, then the tarantula is not that smart to find it that it's alive. Because tarantulas, they detect movement, they detect vibration. So if the roach plays dead, then the tarantula is not gonna find it, obviously, right? It's not rocket science to figure that out. So, um, yeah. Oh, what is that? Is that blood? What the hell? Is that blood? Uh, no, it's just the hairs. Okay, you know, girl, I fed you a roach so you would, like, move away from your mold. But no, you decided to stand on your mold. You know what? Okay, do not. Yes, come in, come in. Give me your mold. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> She's like standing on, 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 like tippy toes. Tippy toes. Okay. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Girl, you need to not run towards me because I'm gonna be like, no. Oh my goodness, can you please? Oh, there we go. Check this out, you guys. The mold is like breaking to pieces because it's a pretty old mold. I think it's about two weeks old. He actually molted about two weeks plus ago. And man, look at the difference. Brown and black. See the difference one single mold can do? The same thing with the GBB because when they are small, they are super beautiful. To be honest, I prefer how the GBB looks when they are slings compared to when they're adults because the adults, yeah, they're still beautiful but the slings, they are just Whoa, I just wish that when they're adults, they'll have that sling colorations because damn, if the GBB is like that, that'd be so cool. I think they'll sell out even faster. But nah, look at this girl, for example. She is gorgeous after one mold. Man, okay, I take back what I thought about the seller. No, he did not scare me. <laughs> he did good. Let's check this out. Check out the fangs. Yo, check out how big those fangs are. Can you imagine? I was just saying just now that if you put your hands in a pan for BTS, the fangs are going to sink into your fingers and uh, yeah, you're gonna have some nice holes. So to show you that in detail, I just broke off the fang. This is how big the fang is. Yep, that is, whoops, that is how big the fang is. And if you get bitten by this, okay, don't come calling me for help because I'm gonna be like, <laughs> so yeah, that is the size of the fang. And man, you don't wanna mess with this girl because if you do, you're messing with the wrong person. And she was sold to me as a female, but I never really sexed her before. I mean, I never sexed her before. Well, not never really, but I never sexed her before because like I mentioned, this was her first mold with me. I bought her as a sub-adult female and I mean, let's see if she's a female. Yes, it is a confirmed female. Check that out. You can see the spermethica over there. I don't know how you pronounce it, spermethica. I'll just write it down like down below right now. You check that out, the flap over there. Yeah, I think I prefer to call it flap because I'm no scientist. <laughs> so yeah, the flap is beautiful. It's a female, yeah. 
Yes. Now my, my friend has the male. I'm gonna have to feed this girl even more so she'll be mature to pair with my friend's male. But I mean, whoops, I'm sorry. I was meant to throw it over there, but it doesn't seem to be bothering you, does it? I just gotta get her up and I told my friend to not feed his male too much. Just leave a water dish and just feed him off and on. I mean, not too much because you don't want him to mature out too quickly. Otherwise, you guys know mature males, they die pretty quickly and you don't want that to happen. You want to pair with this beautiful tarantula. Yeah. We'll do that. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. If you liked it, make sure... Oh, man, man, I'm out of, like, order. Like, okay, we'll start this again. If you're new to this... No, not that. Um, oh, yeah. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you did not, thumbs it down. If you're new to this channel, subscribe and turn on notification bell. <laughs> if you'd like to support the Patreon, guys, link in the description. Social media links, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Check that out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and say goodbye to this girl. Goodbye. Yeah, as usual, phone doesn't want to focus. Peace. Oh yeah, there's some roach juice right there. What you guys all like, some beautiful roach juice.